Saluete omnes. This is exercise D of the pronoun review. The instructions say that we are to translate the following Latin sentences into English. So prima, sententia prima. Quid vidisti? Quid vidisti? It perhaps may be helpful to also identify what sort of pronouns we're dealing with because this is the pronoun review. So quid vidisti? So quid is going to be an interrogative pronoun because we're asking a question. This is the neuter. So the neuter is quid, cuius, cui, quid, quo. This can either be the nominative or it can be the accusative. Widisti, well, this is second person singular, right? Widisti, e isti it, imus istis ero. That means that the person who's doing it is, you are, you didn't even know, you are doing this thing. So this is going to be the direct object. It cannot be the subject if you are the subject. You are doing this action to this thing. What did you see? That's the answer. What did you see? What thing? That's why it's neuter. What thing did you see? What did you see? Interrogative pronoun. What did you see? Secunda, sententia secunda. Qui ambulant? Qui ambulant? Okay, so we have an interrogative pronoun here. Interrogative pronoun. Qui ambulant. This is going to be uh, nominative plural masculine. Ambulant. Third person plural. Present tense. So who, who's doing the walking? I don't know. Who are walking? Who are walking? And we imply these to be plural people. Who are walking? Ambulant. Quae fecistis? Quae fecistis? Interrogative pronoun. Quae fecistis? Y'all, second person plural, y'all did this. You are the subject of facia, facere, feci, factus. Here is the accusative, plural neuter. Now, in English, we don't really differentiate between numbers when we have these interrogative or relative pronouns. So, what did you do? What did y'all do? What did ye do? Really mean what things? What things did you guys do? Which in English we just say, what did you do? What did y'all do? Quae fecistis. The Latin tells us by the, uh, the ending, by what form it uses, that we're implying that the things are plural. What things did you guys do? Quarta, sententia quarta, quis pugnat, quis pugnat. So this is the nominative singular. Notice for the interrogative pronoun that the masculine and the feminine singular have the same forms. The neuter has different forms. The neuter follows the quid uh, paradigm. So quid, cuius, cui, quid, quo. Whereas masculine, feminine, uh, living, animate, sexed things, if we're asking who, that's going to be masculine, feminine, quis, cuius, cui, quem, quo. So quis pugnat. So singular could be masculine or feminine. Who is fighting? Quis pugnat. Who is fighting? And it's singular person. We just don't know the gender. Quinta, sententia quinta. Quorum equi errant in agro. Quorum equi errant in agro. So quorum equi. Quorum is going to be plural, and it's genitive. You can tell by the orum. So genitive, plural, masculine. In English, we just say whose, whose, which equals of whom. And once again, we can't in English tell the difference between singular and plural. Now, the equi are the horses. They're the nominative plural subject of errant, the verb errant in agro. Quorum equi errant in agro whose horses were in the field. Now, the verb is errant. You ask yourself, so what was in the field? Uh, the horses. The horses were in the field. We're just asking whose horses. The horses of whom were in the field. In the field. Whose horses were those? Sexta, sententia sexta. Cum cuius amico ambulas. Cum cuius amico ambulas. So we have preposition cum, which takes the ablative case to show accompaniment. Cuius is the genitive. 
you can tell it's a heteric light, I, U, S. Curious, that's the genitive of uh, either the relative pronoun or the interrogative pronoun. Here it's the interrogative. It's the singular of quorum, where quorum is the plural whose, cuius is the singular whose, because English can't tell the difference between singular and plural. Latin can. So cuius versus quorum. So this is cuius is the singular whose. With whose friend, and that whose is singular, with the friend of whom, ambulas, are you walking? With whose friend, with the ablative friend of whom, this is genitive, cum goes with amico, with whose friend are you walking? You're walking with whose friend? Mm. Septima, sententia septima. Cum quo ea navigavit? Cum quo ea navigavit? Cum quo, we have cum plus quo. In the interrogatives, cum is not postpositive. It is in the relatives. With the relative, you would have quo cum. Uh, here we have the interrogative cum quo. So uh, the interrogative is the cum is not postpositive. It is a preposition. So with whom, with whom did perfect tense did she because it's a girl because it's feminine did she sail with whom did she sail? That quo is the singular ablative because of the ablative of accompaniment with cum of quis the interrogative pronoun quis quid. <clears throat> Octava. A quibus ducti sunt. A quibus ducti sunt. A plus the ablative, personal agent. Could be separation, but here it's going to be personal agent because the verb is passive voice. By whom, and it's plural whom, but once again, English can't tell the difference. By whom were they led? By whom were they led? Then we have nona, sententia nona. Cui pecuniam dedit? Cui pecuniam dedit? Cui is the dative, singular. To whom? To whom? Notice if we made that plural. Quibus pecuniam dedit. English would not be able to tell the difference. To whom did he give the direct object? Money. To whom did he give the money? Cui is a dative indirect object. He gave the money to a dative indirect object. To whom did he give the money? And then decima, sententia decima, quibus miles haec dixit. So quibus, either dative or ablative plural, any gender, masculine, feminine, neuter. Miles, miles is the nominative, miles militis masculine, the nominative for soldier. So the soldier is doing the action because he's in the nominative subject. Hike, hike is going to be uh, either nominative or accusative, uh, plural neuter, or it could be nominative singular feminine. It's got a few different forms, but we already have a nominative. We already have a subject and we don't have a linking verb, or I'm sorry, not a linking verb. We don't have a conjunction. We don't have an et. We don't have the soldier and this woman, or the soldier and this thing did something. And by the way, dixit, the verb is singular, so the soldier alone is doing this. So this has to be a direct object. Has to be. So that's accusative, sing, uh, plural, and neuter. Accusative, plural, and neuter. These things. These things. The soldier said these things. Well, he said these things to a dative. A dative indirect object. Ah, quibus, that's what quibus is doing there. So quibus miles haec dixit, quibus to whom, to whom did the soldier say these things? To whom did the soldiers say these things? Remember in English that the nominative is who, and then every other form uses whom. Who, and the genitive is gonna be of whom, or you could say whose. The dative is going to be to or for whom. The accusative is going to be whom. And then the ablative will be uh, whatever preposition you need. Whom, with whom, by whom, from whom, etc. Optime, that's it for exercise D. You are now ready to move on to exercise E of the pronoun review.